In this tutorial we'll see how to create a cinematic 3D logo animation in After Effects without any plugins. First we create a composition and select Cinema 4D as the 3D render. Then we import the logos. I'll leave these logo files in the description section you can download them for free and practice with me. After converting the vector file to a shape, we delete the vector file and activate the 3D feature of the converted logo. Open the geometry settings. Set the bevel style to none, set its value to zero, and set the extrusion depth to 120. Open the content and merge the groups into a single group. Then, add the side color. Set the side color to the same color. Now, open the transform settings and activate the scale and Y rotation keyframes. Set the initial scale value to 150. We move forward 2 seconds and set the scale value to 40 and the Y rotation value to minus 1. We select all the keyframes and set them to Easy Ease. Then we open the graph editor and set the speed graph as follows. This is great, but there's a small problem. We need to fix the anchor point. To do this, we set the anchor point value in the transform settings as follows. Okay, now it's much better. Now we move forward to 3 seconds and leave the keyframes the same. We move forward 20 frames and set the scale value to 30. We move forward to 5 seconds and set the Y rotation value to minus 2. We increase the opacity value and activate the keyframe. We move forward 5 frames and set the value to 0. Now, to create the light, we select the ellipse tool and draw a shape. We add the light burst effect. We set the ray length to 110 and set the center point as follows. We align the shape correctly with the composition and readjust the effect's center point. Then, we add the glow effect. We set the glow radius to 250. We turn on the opacity and activate the keyframe at 1 second 20 frames and set its value to 0. We move forward 1 second and set its value to 100. We move forward 1 second again and set its value to 0. We move the shape layer to the bottom layer, then copy one and move it to the top layer. We set the opacity value in the middle of the layer we moved to the top layer to 25. We also set the effect color to the same. Yes, we're doing very well, but we're not finished yet. Now, drag the text logo to the timeline panel. Convert it to a shape and delete the vector file. Activate the 3D feature. Open the geometry setting. Set the bevel style to none set the bevel value to zero and set the extrusion depth to 20. Open the content and merge the groups into a single group. Then, add the side color and set the color like this. Open the transform settings and activate the Y rotation keyframe at 3 seconds. Go to 5 seconds and set the Y rotation value to minus 1. Go to 3 seconds and 15 frames and set the scale value to 70 and activate the keyframe. Go to 4 seconds and set the scale value to 80. Set the anchor point value like this. Activate the opacity keyframe and set its value to 0. Move forward 5 frames and set the value to 100. Then, configure the keyframes like this. We select the scale and Y rotation keyframes and set them to Easy Ease. Then, we set the speed graph like this. That's great, 
but we have one last thing left. Now we pre-compose the text logo. Then we add a mask to the text logo. At 3 seconds and 10 frames, we activate the mask path keyframe and set the mask like this. We move forward one second and set the mask path like this. We also set the mask feather value to 100. That's all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. You can let me know your thoughts in the comments. I read them all one by one. See you in the new videos.